So what is the new normal after the Emergencies Act? What is our new normal after seeing many areas of society have free speech quashed, essentially? Uh, Professor Party, you know, traditionally, or I guess in the, in the recent past, usually we find the censorship coming uh, from within the academia, that it's academics, you know, perhaps like yourself, who are being censored. But lately with COVID, we've seen that it's been actually medical profession, professionals who've who've had uh, actions taken to censor them. I re recall Ontario's health minister, Christine Elliott, declaring that she asked and ordered the, the licensing body of the Ontario doctors to go after and review those licenses of doctors that were accused of spreading misinformation. Great word, misinformation, what does it mean? So yes. is that the threat of the, like where are, which, which sector of society is most vulnerable now for free speech? Is it, is it the medical doctors? At the moment, yes. Well, so let's, Misinformation is a word that essentially means censorship. Yes? Yes. Because, I, again, we're supposed to be living in a free society. And in a free society, you can say what you think. The test, the test for free speech is not truth. You can say what you think, even if it's wrong. And if we get to the stage of thinking, well, you can't say anything that's not true or not, not judged to be true by the authorities in question, well, then we're a long way off from where we think we are, right? So as a free citizen, the presumption shouldn't be that everything you hear is true, you know, on the news or on Twitter or from the government. The presumption should be the opposite. You should have skepticism about the truth of anything you hear. And right. as a free person, your job is to figure out what you think is right. Now, that's a lot of work and people are lazy. And, and some people have gotten to the state of thinking that what they think should be true because the government has filtered out all the misinformation. But that means that misinformation is the same thing as censorship. And the College of Physicians and Surgeons has been telling their doctors not to say things that contradict the official narrative, which is a horrendous thing because it means they're telling the doctors not to exercise their own or express their own medical opinions about the, the, the COVID state of affairs. That, that's an appalling state to be in. Um, it, it means that the regulator has taken on the job of defining what is true and not true, as opposed to their proper job, which is to ensure competence, that people, you know, right. the, the, the doctors have training and they, they, they understand you know, medical practice and so on. But, but really, you're talking about a, a class of professionals, some of whom will have different opinions than the official narrative. And we need to hear those opinions in order for ourselves to be able to make a reasonable assessment of what is true and what is not true. Yes, I, I feel that as an individual, I am no longer allowed or permitted to make these decisions for myself that I need you know, the government to tell me or the chief medical officer of health to tell me what's safe, what isn't, that I need uh, federal government to tell me what's a safe environment, what isn't, what is violence, what isn't, what is appropriate thought, what isn't. Right. I feel see, very suffocated. This is all based upon a particular kind of ideology, one, that one characteristic of which is this, that experts and officials are there to tell us what to think and we must abide by, by what they tell us. And it is only the approved experts with the knowledge and understanding to be able to define what that is. And if you- I feel like you and I are right now reviewing 1984 of the book. Okay. <laughs> but that, no, we're talking about Canada. That's exactly right. But this is how far we've gone. This is how dark a place we've arrived at. And that's how important the trucker thing is because at least now there's a little life, a little life in the populace that says, well, hold on, wait a minute. We actually don't consent to this. We, we, we do not agree with the legitimacy of the system that we now appear to be in because that system has changed. It's eroded. We don't have the kind of protections that we thought that we did. It doesn't work on the same kind of values that we thought we had right. and we don't like it. And this, and this is the new normal? This is the new normal. This is going to be the struggle for the next little while and how it's gonna turn out is anybody's guess.